Today's lecture, we're going to talk about graphs of functions. So the first one is f of x equals to 3x plus 2. This is linear equations. How do we know if this is linear? Because the highest exponents on the variable is 1. We don't see any square or cube. In this case, uh, we call this is linear. And linear, when you're graphing, it will be straight line. No matter what types of linear, it will be always straight line, right? So in um, order to draw the straight line, you need two points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the t-chart to find that two points and draw the straight line passing that two points. So one of the easy numbers to plug in for x is going to be 0. So then you get 3 times 0 plus 2, which is going to be 0 plus 2, 2. So when x is 2, y will, I mean, when x is 0, y will be 2. And then I can also use maybe x equals to 1. Then you get 3 plus 2, which is 5. So that's my second point. And when I draw that, um, the number line, uh, rectangular coordinate system, when x is 0, y will be 2, will be this point right here. When x is 1, y will be 5, 3, 4, let's make it a little longer, 3, 4, 5. And draw the straight line passing those two points will be the graph of that linear functions. Let's look at another one. We have g of x equals to 1 half x squared. So this one, we have square as the highest exponents, and we call this quadratic equations. Quadratic equations are quadratic functions. And quadratic, you're going to end up getting parabola. U-shape going up or U-shape going down when we're, you're graphing. So this uh, U-shape, you're going to need more than one, uh, two points. Let's try another plug in the points. And of course, um, zero will be one of the easy numbers to play. And also because you have denominator two, we wanted to play with uh, two, four, eight, something like that. So where we can get rid of denominator 2 and you don't get fraction values so maybe we wanted to try positive 2 and negative 2 so when I place 0 that will be 0 when I place 2 that will be 1 half times 4 half of 4 is 2 right and then if you place negative 2, that's going to be another, wait, hold on, that's 2, right? This is 2, and that's going to be 4, which is 2, right? Because when you square positive 2 or negative 2, you get a 4. So we, both of them 2. And when you graph, when 0 is 0, when x is 2, y will be 2. When x is negative 2, y will be 2. And don't forget, connect those three dots with parabola. Is how you're going to graph that. And this problem, you got lucky that you're Vertex, we call this point right here, vertex. And this point, um, we got zero, zero. And that's why it's easier to grab with these three points because you have three from each, you know, like one from one side, one from the other side, and one exactly in the middle, which is the vertex, right? So you have three that points that you really need to draw the vertex. But then some of the functions, the quadratic functions, what about you end up plugging the numbers? Um, let's say 
you end up plugging the number for x and y and you did the 0 1 2 right if you did the 0 1 2 you end up finding just this point right so so the point itself will be look like this and with that how do i know where to turn it right maybe you will your your graph will be going down your line will be going down further like this, or your point will be curving at that point, right? You, you never know how you're going to graph if those three points is all one side. And this function, we got lucky that it was zero, zero was your vertex. So when you're draw, drawing the uh, problem, it's important to find the vertex. And this equation right here, didn't have any other attachments like this one. That's why your vertex was zero. But this one, because you have more than one terms, likely that you're going to have different vertex. So it's important to start the problem by finding the vertex so you can find the other two points from the side. So let's start doing that. So first thing you need to know is how to find vertex. We have a formula that you can use finding a vertex. Vertex, you're going to use minus b over 2a to find x value. And once you find that, you can replace back to the uh, functions to find your uh, y values. So that's going to be formula of finding a vertex where a and b stand from well if you have a quadratic you call ax square plus bx equals c so if you have a function given leading coefficient is going to be a second coefficient is b and this is positive sign and the constant is going to be c so you just replace a and b on the formulas to find your vertex. So let's try that with this example. So your a in this example will be 2 and your b is going to be negative 4. So if you wanted to find negative b over 2a, it will be negative, negative 4 over 2 times 2. How many negative? 2 negative. So your solution will be positive. So then 4 over 4, which is going to be 1. So your x value is going to be 1. Now we need to find y value by replacing back in 2 your functions. So then you get 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 minus 7. You have 2 times 1 minus 4 minus 7 that's 2 minus 11 which is going to be negative 9 so look like your vertex is going to be x value 1 y value negative 9 so when you're graphing it you need to find the vertex x equals to 1, y equals to negative 9. So that's the point you, you start. And if your a, if your a is positive, your graph is going to be always going up parabola. So let me mark that. If this is positive, your leading coefficient is positive, then your parabola is going to go up. When your leading coefficient is negative, your parabola is going to go down. So your A is positive, so we know it's going up. So we'll be going up like this, like this, right? So we wanted to find those two points, two other points. And I should be able to do that by, oh, let's use the blue using the t-charts and x, y. So since we have one, uh, I wanted to use zero on the left side and two on the right side. So one space from uh, your one x, right? So when x is zero, 
we replace, let's see if I can do that here. It will be 2 times 0 squared minus 4 times 0 minus 7. You get negative 7. So that will be negative 7 right there. Let's see, what about if it is 2, right? That's going to be 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 minus 8 minus 7. So that will be... negative 7. And I know it should be the same value because the problem on the right side and left side is uh, matching, right? So if this is 8, it should be right there and right there and draw the problem. And that's how you're going to graph. I'm going to try one more time. The first thing I need to do is I wanted to rewrite my uh, function into the descending order. So I get write A, B, C, right? So my A is going to be negative 1 and my B is going to be negative 4. And remember the vertex formulas, right? So vertex x, you're going to use negative b over 2a. And then y will be you're replacing that number in 2, your functions. So negative b is negative 4 in this problem, and 2 times a is negative 1. What I like to do is deciding my sign first. This is multiplication and division all, right? And then I'm going to count the number of negative and look like I have 1, 2, 3 negative. So my solution will be negative. Numerator will be 4. Denominator is 2 times 1 is 2. This is negative 2. So I know my uh, value of vertex x is negative 2. Then I'm going to replace that into my functions. So I will find y values, right? So replace it and see what I get. It will be negative 2 squared is 4. And minus 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 plus 1. That's going to be negative 4 plus 9, which is 5. So my vertex is going to be negative 2 and 5. So when I'm graphing, my vertex is going to be negative 2 and positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It will be somewhere right there. 5 and negative 2. And when, when I am checking my uh, leading coefficient right here, my leading coefficient is negative. So this negative means I'm going to have going down problem. So my graph from the vertex it will go down this way, right? Going down this way. So I can plug in two more points. Um, let's plug in to T charts. So I mean any points at this point on the side, each side from when x is negative 2 will be okay. So I will use 0 because 0 is easy to use. And then um, maybe negative 4. And when x is equals to 0, it will give you negative 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 1, which is going to be 1. When x equals to negative 4, 
will be negative negative 4 squared minus 4 times negative 4 plus 1, which is negative. Negative 4 squared is 16. And then negative 4 times negative 4 is positive uh, 16. Plus 1, cancel out, will be 1, right? So when x is 0, it will be 4. When x is negative 4, it will be also 0. Draw the problem, connecting those three dots. That's how you're going to graph quadratic equations.